looking to do is to tap into the energy, passion, commitment, um, uh, excitement of this entrepreneurial spirit that exists in the Middle East that's so rarely told. That story is so, so rarely told. For the first time, I'm engaged in this part of the world, and the social innovators and the entrepreneurial spirit and the hope and opportunity that they represent you know, is a source of inspiration for me. It's both humbling and inspirational at the same time. And it allows me to work with people in the region that are trying to create change at the grassroots level. And the entrepreneurial spirit is very much alive and prospering in the Middle East. And what we're trying to do is find these seeds, showcase their work, and look for ways of supporting them to help them scale up their initiatives and reach more beneficiaries. Our work in the Middle East is, is relatively new. We started uh, engaging in this region three years ago. And the two primary networks uh, we're working with are the Global Philanthropist Circle and the Arab World Social Innovators Program. The first class of innovators is in Jordan, Lebanon, Egypt, Morocco, and Palestine. You know, there's no shortage of them, as I've said, and this was our inaugural class of social entrepreneurs. Scaling up is going to be very important, but we need to support the ecosystem, the enabling environment around these entrepreneurs to help them flourish and help them scale up. Um, having corporations um, engage with entrepreneurs, finding mentors in these corporations to be part of this supporting environment, this enabling environment, to help not only identify the entrepreneurs, but help create the environment necessary for them to feel like they have the support in their communities, in their countries, to take these proven models and scale up and create a multiplier effect that will sustain them in the long term.